If you've watched my London videos before, you know exactly what I'm about to say. This is not London Bridge. This is Tower Bridge and today I'm going up there. Good morning, welcome back to London. Yes, did you know that you can go up there? I've never done it before, so this is gonna be a first time for me. I absolutely love Tower Bridge, it's so iconic. And it does still open, the last time I was here, I saw it open because a tall, a tall boat was going through. Let me show you the middle of it. So this is where the bridge opens. All the traffic stops and then the tall boat will go through. So here are the prices, it's actually not too expensive. I paid 13 pounds 40. I did book in advance, you don't need to, but there's no guarantee you're gonna get in. So even though I have a reservation, I still need to join this line. Let's go, we're inside Tower Bridge. That's cool, foundations eight meters deep. So this tells you about the divers that went down and put the foundations in. So cool, legends. This is amazing. How have I grown up in London and never done this before? This is so cool. So it tells you every little detail about how it was built and who was involved. So it took eight years to complete and it was completed in, I do have the date, 1894. This is amazing. So I love pictures like this. You can see the workers here working on the bridge and it just says here, unknown steel workers. So they don't even have their names. Wow, I wonder if they knew at the time they were building something so iconic. So up there it shows the child labor, the children working on the bridge. Let's keep going up. So inside there's a three minute show that basically tells you the history of the bridge. This is amazing. This is cool, I didn't know this, so 50 designs were considered. I wonder what the other 50 look like because the design now is so iconic. And there's a sign in there that a ship needs to be nine meters tall for them to lift it up. So I did know this. So the reason they wanted to build another bridge was convenience because 120,000 people every single day, 20,000 vehicles pass the London Bridge, which is just over there. So of course they wanted to give people another option. So that's why they built Tower Bridge. This is what I saw online, glass floor. So this one says 876 workers, so of course boys and men help complete the bridge. It's unbelievable, amazing. And unfortunately 10 lost their lives. This is how much they got paid. So it says a guy and his two sons, they got paid 1,000 pounds in today's money for one week's work. One big positive is, I thought it was gonna be very, very busy up here, but it's not. There's a few people, but not as many as I expected. This is amazing. You have to do this if you visit London. Wow. So that is London Bridge, right there. A lot of people think this is London Bridge, but no, London Bridge is very basic. It's very boring, nothing exciting about London Bridge. People used to live on London Bridge, by the way, it used to be houses on the bridge. And just over there is the Tower of London. So this is cool, of course, there's no mention of women workers, but it says here that the first female employee that they know of is Charlotte. So she was a maid to the bridge master from 1895, that's cool. I wonder if there are any more. This is crazy, 1952, the bus jumped over the bridge when it was open, wow. And it looks like tall boats need to make a reservation to open the bridge 24 hours in advance by email. Originally the bridge was operated by steam, but now it's electric and oil. 
I love this so much. This is so interesting and iconic, historic. Now we get to go and see the engine rooms. This is just amazing. I cannot believe that I'm inside Tower Bridge. Wow, this is so cool. And I'm so surprised there's not like so, so, so many people here. So like I said, I did make a reservation. You have to choose a time slot that you come. So I guess they limit the number of people that get to come at each time. But I didn't know it was going to be this uncrowded. This stuff, I just love it so much. So they have a picture of the road resurfacing 1931. And they have a picture exactly the same road, exactly the same place in 1962, doing exactly the same thing. It's amazing. You can see the horse and carts are still, still crossing the bridge while they're working on it. This is so cool. Just letting you know that there are bathrooms up here and there is an elevator to the top if you don't want to do the stairs because it's a lot of stairs but <sighs> this is this is just amazing still going down to the engine rooms so you come back on the bridge and then she told me to follow the blue and it's going to take me to the engine rooms Just amazing. This is the this is the original. Wow. Like a men used to stand here and put coal in there. I love history. Every single day 30 men would be working in here. This is, I've said amazing about 50 times, but this, this is amazing. Why have I never done this before? It's unbel I feel like a bad Londoner that I've never ever done this. This is so good. And I love the fact that it's so preserved, you know, like they didn't trash it, they didn't throw it away. Like they kept it here. It's uh, so historic. I guess the men would be standing exactly in this spot working the machines. So we're now here, looks like hydraulic pumps. This is really iconic, it says during the Blitz, the Tower of London was bombed 15 times but Tower Bridge was not hit, which is just unbelievable because they're literally right next to each other. Thank you, yes, yeah. That was unbelievable. I can't believe that I went up there. I think that is the best value for money that you can get in London. Because if you went and did the London Eye, that's gonna cost you maybe three times as much money as it is to go up there. Only 13 pounds 40, which is like $17. Definitely worth it. So just a quick word on reservations again. I highly recommend making one because it doesn't get you to the front of the line. You still have to wait in line with people that need to buy tickets, but you're guaranteed to get inside if you have a reservation. I did ask one of the workers up there. I said, why is it so empty? She said now is a perfect time to visit Tower Bridge because she said during the summer, so packed every single day. And of course around Christmas time, it's gonna be packed as well. But today is October the 15th. So she said this is the perfect time to visit. Just passing by the Tower of London. There's so many school kids here. I feel like I need to redo everything that I did when I was a school kid because I went on a field trip inside the Tower of London. My advice for Tower of London is do not get fish and chips over there. It says it's traditional, but it's not, it's not good. Anyway, let's go and see more of London. I have some really, really exciting things planned for today, so let's go. Sorry to interrupt, but it's time to announce the winner of the Kingsguard teddy bear. On a recent video, we did a giveaway and every single person that wrote a comment is entered. 156 people have a chance of winning and the winner is you. The winner is Fred Wiener. So Fred Wiener, please write me an email or send me a message on Instagram to claim your prize. Channel members, I'll announce your winner very soon. Thank you. If you see these things around London, this is a border for the original city of London. Of course, London didn't used to be as big as it is now, but that's a border marker. It's so sad that this is what London's phone boxes look like today. Because recently my granddad was telling me stories, before people had phones, people used to queue outside. 
there used to be a long line of people waiting to use a payphone. But of course they're not used anymore, people just use them to take pictures, but it's so sad that they're not taken care of. Welcome to St. Dunstan in the East Church Garden. This might be the unluckiest church in London. It was built in the year 11100 and it was named after a monk that went on to become Archbishop of Canterbury. It was partially destroyed in the Great Fire of London, 1666, and then during the Blitz World War II, 1914, it was completely destroyed. And this is what remains. It is beautiful. Definitely a hidden gem. A lot of people come here to read and have lunch. It's so cool. If you search for like hidden gems in London, this is on a lot of lists. It's really, really cool. And I love the fact that it's surrounded by like tall buildings and they've just left this part of green. It's really, really amazing. And the fact that it was built originally 1000 years ago just makes it even more amazing. I love thinking about people that walk these streets 100, 200, 1000 years ago to come to church here. I think it's amazing. And there's a premier in here. I think this was built in 1100 as well. Back in the day, they built things to last. That's why this thing has stood for so long. But I feel like today they just build buildings as quickly as possible, as cheaply as possible. And they're not going to be here in a thousand years. It's so sad, really. And the designs of buildings that they build today, they're so boring. Like there's no uniqueness anymore. They just build all the buildings exactly the same. And it's a shame. Nothing is going to be around from today in a thousand years. That might still be here because it's built to last. This area is so busy at lunchtime. Everyone's out from the offices getting some lunch. So this building here, this is called the gherkin. So a gherkin to me is a pickle to you Americans. It's the same thing. Our next destination is probably one of the most underrated places in London, Leadenhall Market. Now this place is so amazing. I'll tell you a little bit of history, but there was one very, very famous movie that was filmed here. Now there's a bunch of cafes. This is a pub right here. You can get pizza. So the stores here, of course, not original, but just the building and the structure is amazing. It's so unique. Nothing else like Leadenhall Market in London. So Leadenhall Market dates back to the 14th century and this current structure, this has been here since 1881. It used to sell fresh, uh, fresh produce, meat and stuff, but now it's absolutely bustling with people on their lunch break, getting a beer, having some lunch. But the famous movie that was filmed here is Harry Potter. So this was the external shots of Diagon Alley. So Harry and Hagrid walked right down here. Actually, you have to come to this side of the market to see where Harry and Hagrid walk. They walked right down here into Leadenhall Market, the exterior shots of Diagon Alley. So there's a few pubs here, so this is one, so people getting a drink. But can you just imagine the hustle and bustle a hundred years ago of people doing their shopping down here? Next time you visit London, definitely add Leadenhall Market to your itinerary. Just walk through it or stop and get a drink. Definitely take some pictures here. You see what I mean about buildings today? Like they all look exactly the same. They're so boring. And then you have the original structure of Leadenhall Market. It's so cool. Welcome to another one of the most underrated places in London. Not many people know about this. This is the Garden at 120. And this view is amazing. You can see some of the most famous things in London right here. That's the Shard, that's Tower Bridge. I can't believe we went up there so good so there is a garden up here it's very 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 nice so the sky garden at 120 is very special for two reasons but now it's special for three reasons because i just got recognized again for the second time ever so val if you're watching this val from canada thank you val i appreciate it so much you were so kind 
wow that, i'm smiling so big that makes me so happy only the second person to ever to ever recognize me from youtube wow makes me happy so the other two reasons why the garden at 120 is so underrated one is free it's free there's so many rooftops in london that you have to pay to get in there you have to pay to get a drink or whatever but this one is free there's literally no one in line downstairs so i literally just walk straight up here and the second one is just down the street there's a sky garden and it's also free but you need to make a reservation for that one and reservations fill up immediately you have to make a res reservation like a week or two weeks in advance but this one like i said you just show up and luckily there was nobody in line and then you come straight up so wow i can't believe i got recognized again oh that makes me so happy so over here you can see the gherkin again so for you americans that's the pickle so i've been up here a few times and i've never noticed this before it looks like a track or something i wonder what that's for i can't think what it would be for i don't know why a train would go around here so the garden here is on the 15th floor and on 14 there's a restaurant it opens at 10 a.m if you come here you might be the first person up here i was one time so come here at very early you could have it all to yourself so that was the gut that was the garden out so that was the garden at 120. Everywhere I go today will be in the description, so you can come here too. Next have Christmas trees. It should be illegal. It's only October. That is monument. So that is a memento to the Great Fire of London, 1666. And if you lay the tower down, the end of the tower is gonna be on Pudding Lane. That is where the Great Fire of London started. You can go up there. See, it says being equal to the distance westward from the site of the bakery in Pudding Lane, where the fire broke out. See, I don't just make stuff up. <laughs> Every time I come to London, I need to teach you about the street signs. EC is East Central. Welcome to London Bridge, the famous, famous London Bridge. London Bridge is falling down. People think that London Bridge is Tower Bridge. People think that Tower Bridge is London Bridge. No, this is London Bridge. Nothing special about London Bridge. It's so iconic though, because there used to be houses on the bridge. I'll try and find a picture here, but people used to live on London Bridge. Of course, you can see Tower Bridge in the distance over there. I still can't believe that we went to the top of that, but this is London Bridge. Not too fancy, that's the Shard over there. Very, very tall building, but do not cross the road here. Go to the traffic lights because it's very, very dangerous. This is the Anchor Pub. I read online that it used to be so authentic and very, very, very original, but unfortunately it's changed into a tourist trap. I think a lot of people like to go to the Anchor because it looks cool on the outside. I think we crossed the Thames like three or four times today, but we're currently on the South Bank. just passing by the Shakespeare's Globe Theatre and you can still see Shakespeare's plays here it's an open-air theatre it looks so cool if you watched one of my most recent videos I talked about these houses here they're right next to the Globe Theatre and I said I wonder who lives here I did some research and I found out about that street right there well it's not a street it's an alleyway it says cardinal cap alley and what i read was that alley has a history of prostitution the article that i read said maybe that's where cardinal sin comes from the, the saying cardinal sin cardinal cap alley i don't know if it's anything to do with the houses but that alley did not have a good reputation <laughs> Welcome to the ugliest building in London. This is the Tate Modern. It's a contemporary art gallery, and we're gonna go inside. Looks like a factory. This is another one of those places where I came for a school trip. So I haven't been here since I was like 12 probably. Probably younger than that. Welcome to the Tate Modern. It's completely free to come in here. You don't need a reservation. I don't even think you can make a reservation. You just show up.
hurts my brain, I gotta get out of there. I just don't understand contemporary art. Like, they just put a canvas on the wall and just throw paint at it and then call it art. Maybe it's, I mean, it's supposed to mean something to each person, but I don't get it. Now I understand why. I haven't been there for a long time, but maybe some people enjoy it, but it hurts my brain to look at it for too long. I don't remember where it was, but I remember seeing a video about some pranksters. They went to a contemporary art museum and one of the guys took their shoe off and they just put their shoe in the corner. And people started taking like pictures of it because they thought it was like contemporary art, but it was just a shoe in a corner. Like anything can be art. I have a lot of videos from London coming up, so hit subscribe if you want to watch them. If you watched yesterday's video, we stayed in a five-star luxury hotel. I think the cheapest five-star hotel in London. So go and check that video out from yesterday. But today we're going to stay in another hotel because I'm going to try and show you the, some of the best hotels around London. So we need to walk 1.5 miles. Let's go. Why? I don't know why. Tonight we are staying in the Euro Traveler Premier Hotel Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge is just down there. Let's go and check in. We have checked in. We're in 208. It's so purple. Wow. Let's check it out. Before I show you the room, let me tell you about Room Cougar. I have partnered with Room Cougar to show you some hotels around London. It's a great resource to show you exactly what a hotel room looks like before you make a reservation. You can select the city and you can find the hotel that you are considering booking. Room Cougar gives you a personal view of the hotel room before you arrive, so there are no surprises. So click the link in the description to see my tour of this hotel on Room Cougar. So let me show you around this double room. So when you enter, there's spaces here for you to hang up your clothes. Here is an ironing board. Under here is where you can put your shoes, shoe storage. Very nice fridge, very useful. Here are some desk space. Enough space for you to put your electronics here, plug them in. Very nice TV. You have your coffee station, tea and coffee over here. That is London. Tower Bridge is literally just down the street that way huge bed i'm so happy with the size of this bed we have outlets on both sides of the bed very useful we have lights on both sides too we have more storage here to charge your devices another outlet let's check out the bathroom this is a good size bathroom this is exactly all that you need plenty of towels stuff to hang up your wet clothes and there you go that is all that you need there is some soap here Shower has soap as well. Very nice. Oh, the bed is comfy. So if you watch my videos in the past, I usually don't stay in nice hotels because I'd rather spend the money doing stuff and having experiences. I don't prioritize accommodation basically. So I'm so excited to be partnering with Room Cougar. So please check them out because I appreciate this opportunity to stay in some nicer hotels here in London because when I usually come to London, I stay in the cheapest place available so I can do more stuff basically, but I'm so excited to show you what is out there in London. Because of course this is a budget hotel and London is an expensive city. Yesterday we stayed in another budget luxury hotel. So check out that video if you didn't because I had a lot of fun there, but this is very, very, very nice compared to what I usually stay at. So I'm very, very happy with this. But the only reason that I can stay in places like this and work with people like Room Cougar is because you watch my video. So thank you so much. I appreciate it so, so, so much. Of course, I'm going to give you my full review and I'm going to tell you how much it costs. So maybe you can stay here when you visit London because London is expensive and you need to prioritize some stuff. You know, you can't stay in the nicest places and go out there and do everything you want, that you want to do. So hopefully my videos staying at some of these budget friendly hotels will, will help you plan your next trip to London. The average hotel room price for one night is it's got to be over 200 maybe 250 definitely there's a lot pushing 300 pounds per night which is very very expensive especially when people usually stay in london for a long time a week or 10 days or two weeks so it, it can become very very expensive so this is a great option and like i said i'm so excited to stay in places like this so i can show you because i don't usually stay in places like this and i appreciate it so much anyway i'm going to relax and take a nice shower because i have no idea how much i walk today 
every single time I come to London, I end up walking miles and miles because the transport is great. There's so many buses and of course the London Underground, but I like walking just because you don't know what you're gonna find on the way. That's, that's usually when you find stuff that you didn't expect. Really nice shower. It's time for bed now, so I'm gonna relax, watch some TV, and in the morning, I'll give you my full review. Good night. Good morning, so that was my one night at the Euro Traveler Premier Hotel Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge is just down there. Very, very comfortable, very comfortable bed. And this place was 133 pounds for one night, which is around 174 US dollars, which for London prices is amazing because for some hotels, you're gonna be paying like at least 250, 300, pushing on like 400 pounds per night. So very, very good value here. One negative, this street is not the safest. Like I said, Tower Bridge is just over there, but this is Act Street. Not the best at night, but I think for London value, it's very, very good. Thank you so much again to Room Cougar for partnering with me so I can show you some great hotels around London. Click the link in the description to see my room tour of that exact hotel. Thank you so much for watching another video from here. London, the greatest city in the world. I'm gonna immediately start filming the next video. So if you wanna see more of London with me, then hit the subscribe, hit the like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much channel members for supporting me. Click the join button below this video to become a channel member. I have some fun things planned for London today and then I'm staying in another great hotel tonight. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time, goodbye.